If you have an AWS EC2 instance running, there are two checks that are automatically run by AWS against this instance. The first one is called an instance status check, which ensures that your instance is available and reachable and warns you against OS related failures, like for example, the network is down, a kernel has incompatibility issues or a file system got corrupted. While the second one, the system status check, monitors your instance against failures that originate on AWS side. For example, hardware failures or hypervisor issues. In this demo, I'm gonna show you how you can create an alarm that responds to system status checks. So with your instance selected like this, you can go to actions, CloudWatch monitoring, add edit alarms. Click on create alarm. And when you create an alarm, you have two main actions that you can take. The first one is to send a notification to an SNS group or topic that you created. This basically will send a notification message to one or more of the recipients configured on the, in the SNS, like for example, an email list, a text message, in addition to other forms of notification. Additionally, you can take an action against that failure. In this specific example, I'm not interested in sending a notification, but I'd rather take an action against a system check that has failed. Let's first choose the type of error that will trigger this alarm. So whenever status check failed, that is system related rather than instance or any, I'm gonna specifically choose system. And this will give me the following actions. I can recover the instance, stop it, terminate it, or reboot it. In this example, I'm gonna choose stop this instance till the failure is corrected. And I'm gonna choose that this alarm will be triggered if the check failed for at least one time in a period of one minute. The name of alarm in this example is important because I'm gonna use it to trigger this alarm manually. So I'm gonna have to choose a name that is easy to remember. Let's say my alarm like this. And then I'm gonna click create alarm. Okay, now the alarm has been created. If you wanna have a look at this alarm or you want to change any of its properties, you're gonna just right click on your instance Go to Cloud Watch Monitoring and go to Edit Edit Alarms. You're gonna see that you have now your alarm, which was called My Alarm in our case. Click on it and you can make any changes you want or cancel. Now, I'm gonna open a terminal and I'm going to use AWS CLI to intentionally create a fake alarm. So the command is AWS Cloud Watch set dash alarm dash state dash dash alarm dash name My Alarm. That's why I intentionally chose a name that is easy to remember. Then dash dash state dash value is alarm. I'm going to change the condition of this alarm to be alarm and the state reason, I'm going to write a descriptive message, simulate an easy to system failure. And I'm gonna click enter. Now I have triggered an alarm. Let's get back to our AWS management console. And if I go to refresh this page, I'm gonna see that my instance immediately is stopping in response to an alarm. Of course, this is not a real one. This is a one that we have intentionally created on our site. So in a few moments, this instance is going to be stopped. All right. If I waited a couple of minutes more, this alarm status is going to change to okay because the status check runs every minute. And when it finds that there is no need for an alarm to be raised, it is going to change this status back to normal. Okay, and now the alarm status is okay, and I can start my instance once more again.